Hey everyone, if you're new here, I am Abel, and so are you. I have here today a couple of miscellaneous totes, 10 inch totes, if you will, uh, from Hercules. Uh, they run about 28, 29 bucks at Harbor Freight. I picked up one and so I liked it so much that I went and picked up another one. Um, and I just put a lot of miscellaneous stuff in here. So, um, I just wanted to go through, just share a few things. Um, the first, the first thing I'm going to zonk on these bags or these totes is how low the handle sits. Um, I think, uh, who is that? Um, Milwaukee makes one and their, their handle comes up a little higher and that does come into effect when you're pulling stuff in and out of these bags. I find that I'm bumping, you see, I'm bumping into a lot of stuff that otherwise I wouldn't if that handle was a little taller. Now they look a little sleeker being low like that, but that is a zonk. I wish these these handles were a little bit higher and uh, to give you a little more clearance coming in and out uh, of these totes. But uh, let's go through some of this stuff. So this is a cobalt pry bar that I got in conjunction with this. They were tied together and they were about 15 bucks. So, you know, up at Lowe's. I didn't need a hammer, but I did need the pry bar. And so for 15 bucks, I had to pick it up. And this is like a, uh, a 22 ounce hammer. This is, this is like a framing hammer. And uh, I like the rip claw on there. And it's got uh, a nail puller there and a little magnet on top. You can put a nail there, set it, and uh, just whack it. And uh, the handle is pretty good. You know, for 15 bucks for both, yeah, I just had to pick it up. I, I think they were on clearance. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I had to pick that up. Um Let's see here. Should I go? Okay. So here, we got a regular crescent handle. You guys know I don't I don't particularly like these because of the uh, the uh, cushion or the rubber doesn't go all the way down. And when I when I go down to the bottom, my pinky finger, I don't like that. But these were cheap, so I keep them around. These, like I said, this is a miscellaneous bag, uh, a little husky uh, blade there. Ooh, been like cut myself. Uh, let's see what else we got. A little Harbor Freight mini ratchet. This is probably a three quarter, a three eighths. You know, you guys seen these? You know, just some longer. Uh, drivers um yeah cheap spin outs never use those yeah a little spinner slot it this guy is pretty good i got this some years ago a little husky multi stripper and uh it works pretty good it was, uh, I got it around the holidays for about seven bucks, so I had to pick it up. You guys seen these in my other bag? So, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. You know, these are commercial electric. They're okay. Yeah, commercial electric. Again, these are just beater tools. Here's a plastic pry bar for delicate stuff. Slot it little tile yeah we're gonna we're gonna be flying through these guys because i got two bags so 
Guys, some of you guys may have seen that. Cobalt. Pretty good. Got that uh, double drive on there. I did a little review on that. Again, insulated, slotted, beater. Here's a little chisel. You know, guys, you want to keep an edge on these these chisels and not um, use it as a demolition tool, but just to shave um, wood off or something, uh, but not to beat on. And sometimes you have to, you know, uh, sharpen these to keep that blade on there. Let's go inside real quick. I don't know if I should ah, do a little review on these, these Bosch. These are kind of cheap too, but they're, they're strong. They're, they're robust. They're strong. They're very heavy. Um, you know, the, the batteries in the handle makes that kind of, kind of thick handle, uh, me medium sized hand, you know, it's okay. Uh, got that Malco bit on there. Uh, this is the, uh, impact. Uh, it's not brushless. So I think I picked these up in a set for like, um, a hundred bucks. And I got his brother over here, which is the drill. And, uh, they're okay. Beater tools. Kind of dig that color. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, let's keep going. Um, uh, so these are your right angle. Got these. These are Pittsburgh. These came from uh, Harbor Freight. These always come in handy. Some nylon rope. Always need some rope. Uh, little brass brush. Brush stuff off with. And these here are some um, zip ties. These are some heavy duty. Can't really see them. Uh, you just never know when you need a zip tie to keep something together until you can get to it. Uh, you know, you might, you know, your bumper or something might fall off because you hit you hit something and it's hanging off. You just want to zip tie that bumper back up until you can fix it properly. A little hacksaw. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna be breezing through these. Some little gloves. I think these are, yeah, tough. Yeah, hyper tough. These are surprisingly good. I think I picked these up at uh, Walmart. Yeah. Ah, uh, these are some. Uh, yeah, these are some. Uh, yeah, some some drill, some drill bits. I picked these up at Harbor Freight. Pretty cheap. Miscellaneous stuff here. Got some anchors in there. Got a little, got a lot of little stuff in there. Screws. Yeah. Some uh, butt connectors. Get a little bit better there. Yeah. This here picked up at uh, Lowe's, got a lot of safety, not safety, but uh, security bits. That's why I picked this up, because it had security bits in it. And then, uh, I don't know if I can show you this real quick, but I picked up this little, little guy and uh, now I can use this with all those little bits. And so I keep this as a set. And so this is pretty smooth. It's kind of got a Cyclops head on it. And uh, yeah, put that in there. And then uh, I can use that on anything. And so you guys have seen this before, you know, got the little, oh, let me see if I can see that. Grab whatever you need to grab from a hard to reach space spot, whatever. These are spade bits. You guys know what those are. Some little beaters. Uh, what are these? 
Oh, yeah, these are for your, uh, uh, what do you call those little, uh, those little, those little half moon clamps or C, I don't know if I want to call them a C clamp, but you know, see those little, I forget what they call the little clamps that, little ring clamps. You can grab those, squeeze it, and be able to take it off or put them on. A little brush, nylon brush. Little spinner, quarter inch spinner by hand. Nice. You guys seen this? It's coming in a nest box with thermostat. You know, flippable bit. Uh, ergonomic. Didn't want to throw it away, so I just keep it around. And a little knife in there. And yeah, that's it. We are off to the side. And uh, let's do this one. So this here, this is sometime, I, you know, it's okay, but it's supposed to uh, seek out your electrical wires in your walls and it's a stud finder, but it's, it's touch and go, man. I'll tell you the truth. It's, I, I've, I've used it, I tried to use it once or twice, and it just, it's not dependable. And so, um, for that reason, it's kind of whack, if you ask me. Little needle nose. Same thing, I bought those in a set. And so, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't throw tools away. Uh, these little thermostat are a little therm thermometers that I keep around uh, for, you know, refrigeration or HVAC purposes. Um, here, what do we got here? This is a carpenter's pencil sharpener. And these come out of those boxes, man. You know, those levels come out of those boxes when you're putting up a uh, TV uh, rack, putting it on the wall. Those will come in the boxes sometimes. I put up a few of those. These some cheap scissors. Real sharp point on there. Cheap scissors. Again, miscellaneous bag. A lot of these are beater tools. Got some insoles. Markers. You know, carpenter's pencils. Good magnet. You know, telescopic magnet. You know, you never know when you need these, but they're good. They're, they're so handy, you know, when you do need it. Here's a nice uh, level. Uh, who is this by? Empire. So, yeah, you can you see the little curve there. So you can put this on conduit and uh, you have a couple of different versatile ways to level. Got your screw here so you can put it on the pipe, clamp it on the pipe or whatever. Good magnets, nice, nice blue. Another little spanier, spanner. Nice, really, really small. Got a nice little cushion grip on there, so I keep that around. Got a lamp here. You guys may have seen this. Oh, it's dead. I got to charge this up. And so you can charge this right there with mini USB. So that tells me, yeah, got to charge that up. That's cool. Got some little bits here, you know, laying around. Zip ties. I like to keep zip ties around. Let's see what this is here. Yeah, these are some little nut drivers. Got uh, all sizes, not all sizes, but most sizes or flavors, however you want to say that. That's who they came. These came from uh, Amazon, and they were like ten bucks. Nice little deal. Here, got these from Menards. That Master Force comes from Menard. Nail puller. 
Yeah. Cool. Uh, these here are, um, these are ponies. And these are good, man. These are very strong and the, the grips stay on them. So you never know when you need another hand. And a lot of little stuff I do, I do, a, I do by myself. So I need that extra hand. Nice little uh, blade here. Some nice little. I like this glue here, man. This this some good. This Loctite super glue. Some good glue. Uh, I like that. You guys should be using that if you need glue. These are just some. These are just some uh, knockoffs. Not knockoff in brand, but they peel off um, for that uh, ah, for that blade there. And then here's a nice little cr uh, crescent knife. You've seen me brag on these guys. Really cheap, but really nice. So I, I got those all over the place. Here's a little nail puller. Nail puller. A little hammer. I will say, I thought this would come in handy a lot, but I don't do a lot of demolition stuff, so I don't pull a lot of nails, and so this doesn't get much use. But you never know. You never know when you might need something like that. Beater. This is a little multi. Got the little ball detent in it. I know you guys don't like these <laughs> commercial electric, but you know, I bought them, man. And so when people ask, can they borrow a screwdriver or something? I'll hand them one of these because I don't figure it's coming back. Um, <laughs> so that's what I, I lend those out. Uh, tape. Uh, let's see here. What we got here? Heart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like this, uh, this heart because, you know, it's got your, uh, your quarter inches in there. I like that. See that? And, uh, I like when you pull it out, it stays out. I don't really like the ones that you have to hold with your finger under there. I don't like that. I just like when you pull it out, it stays out and it retracts when I want it to. This thing was like six bucks at Walmart and I would never have picked it up, but six bucks for a 25 foot auto lock with the quarter inches. You know, I don't like that white and black, but for the price, hey. You never know. You come across a guy that doesn't have one. Hey, man, here, take this. You know? A little brass brush. Keep those around. We're not going to go into this. We know what that is. I just picked this up. This was 12 bucks. I may do a little video on it. I know, you know, heart is coming up. I'm going to say that. Heart is definitely coming up. They, they're making some bold moves, man. So you kind of got to look out for heart. Now, what I what I mean by that is I used to think heart was cheap and starting out they was, but they're they're upping their game. They're upping their quality. This feels good. <sighs> this color though, white and black. I don't know what they were thinking. But um heart is like a I think somebody told me that Milwaukee and heart are made by the same company. You guys can uh, check me on that in the comments. Is that true? Is Hart and Milwaukee made by a, the same company? And if it is, then you know they're going to have some parallels. They're going to have some some similar uh, build quality. And so for twelve bucks for a ratcheting, yeah, no, you know why not? Yeah, you know. We're not going to go into that. We know what that is. I love these. These are uh, Demolition DeWalt. I like these. Is it acetane or acetone? Uh, handles. And I like these handles because these take me back, man. 
these take me way back when I was a kid. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys had these, uh, you know, when they were working and you would always see these handles. They were either orange or yellow, uh, sometimes red. And you don't see these that much anymore unless you're looking at Crescent. Or not Crescent, but uh, Craftsman. They, they still make these acetone. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Acetone. Acetane. I can't remember the name. But clear handles. Nice beater. I like it. And down in here, I got a little stubby. Came from, this is a Doyle, I think. Came from Harbor Freight. This is exactly like the, uh, this is ratcheting. And uh, these, this will be flippable. Uh, that uh, Klein makes pretty nice. I think this was only like seven bucks. And Klein is probably like 12 or 13. And the Klein is yellow right here where the red is. I actually like the red better than the yellow. And it's the same exact tool, just branded differently. Some dikes or diagonals. You know, we know who these are. You know, they're built strong. Got a little tethering uh, loop on it. Decent handles. You know, I like them. You know, I, and I don't have to worry about, you know, beating on these. Because uh, if, if if they mess up, so so what, you know. Here, I had to pick these up. These are for O-rings. See that? Because I hate taking a... a, a a flat screwdriver to an O-ring. I hate that because if you scratch it or you tear it just a little bit, you can forget about using that O-ring again. So I picked these up and I think I got these uh, on Amazon at Nico. And so, yeah. And so that's nice and rounded. So you can get O-rings out without tearing them up and then you can reuse them. You know, if they're not dried out or anything, same here, different sizes and the way they're positioned differently. You know, sometimes they might be in an awkward position. So, yeah, I keep those. I keep those around. So going in, this is just miscellaneous, miscellaneous uh, random bits. Got some security bits in here. I only got one hand, so I can't really get in there, guys. Here's a stud finder. This is old one. And this one actually works better, man. I, you know, it's better than than that that DeWalt. And uh, yeah, it's old. Uh, here we go. Got some uh, Milwaukee bits, drill bits. Got some batteries in there. Got some uh, thread. Thread locker. Guys, you keep that around. You know, because when I put stuff together, I want it to stay together. I don't want it to come apart. Uh, these are driver bits. Cool. Plate, magnet plate. Guys, you keep these around. For your screws, you don't want to be losing screws. Cut level ones. Keep these cut level ones around. These are probably the cheapest ones that... Milwaukee makes. Uh, some guys like them, some guys don't. Oh uh, yeah, this is the uh, ten inch tool tote. This is what we're looking at today, guys. You guys can pause that and check it out. Like I said, these come from uh, Harbor Freight, and they make they get they make a bigger one, but I like these little ones. I like these little ten inch ones. You guys seen this already. A little multi-tool. You know what to do with that. Oh, let's see. We got some safety. Safety glasses in here. Guys, please wear these. You know? Because when you least expect it, that's when something happens. When you say, I don't need them. I'm just going to do this real quick. That's when the accident happens. Not when you're so much expecting it. It's when you're not expecting it. That's when little stupid stuff happens. So, guys, keep these around. Wear them all the time. Um, 
you only got two eyes, man. So that means you only got two chances. So please wear your eye protection. Let's see what else we got in here. Screws and bits. Screws and bits. Same here, screws. Miscellaneous stuff. Uh, a little Harbor Freight light. Well, if that works, but my lamp didn't. <laughs> some screws. Uh, it's just some hardware from something. Some uh, super lube, multi purpose synthetic grease. You know, you can put this on a lot of different things that maybe squealing or squeaking. You keep this stuff around. WD 40. Always got to keep this around, million and one uses for that. Uh, and guys, you should keep these little, these little gloves around too, because sometimes you know when things are gritty or grimy, uh, and you don't want to touch it. It might be something old, nasty, spider webs, grease. Put these on, and and these are a little bit better because you get a good feel for your work when you're wearing these as opposed to some cut level ones. So you might need a little. A little more sensitivity. You guys seen this. Keep this around. You can check out my videos if you want to look at that a little closer. Here's some more little bibs and bops. See all that in there? Just a little random stuff. You know, I'm working on something. I need something kind of special. Little junk. Let's see what we got down here. Okay, these are some little mini um, wire cutters. So you have bolt cutters or wire cutters. Those will work. Who's already? These are by who? Cobalt. Yeah. So, fellas, that's pretty much it. Yep. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Sometimes I keep these little files around uh, to bring stuff back to life. Uh, you know, kitchen burners or something like that. I got some more files that I actually use, but you just never know when you need a little something like that. And I guess that's it, guys. And so uh, I want to thank you guys for checking out these tools with me. Um, again, this is that 10-inch tote comes from Harbor Freight. They run about 28, 29 bucks. I will zonk the handle. That's the only thing I don't like about these. The handle is too low, but I do tend to overfill these. If you don't overfill them, you don't have to worry about that, but I tend to overfill these. And so I do kind of get caught taking stuff in and out. So guys, I want to thank you. If you hung out with me the whole time, I know this was kind of winded, but it's just something to sit back and and look at some tools. Um, please comment. Um, please um, subscribe um, and like the video. Uh, remember to uh, always give me a thumbs up. All right, guys. Take care.